I was a firefighter and a flight paramedic. I was flying with one of my students who also was a firefighter and he had just bought the Century. He was bragging about it, how cool it was. And I knew that it could do carbon monoxide. We get in the airplane and we get started up and it's winter time, like I said, so we had the heat on. And within probably a minute of starting up, we started getting the CO alarm going off. So we talked about it and I was like, man, I, I really think it's this Century. I think the Century's messed up. Let's just let's taxi back and, you know, not go fly and we'll get the mechanic to look at the plane. And that ended up being a really smart decision because the mechanic looked at the plane and, and basically all the exhaust was being ducted directly into the cabin when the heater was activated. So we were getting pretty much pure carbon monoxide into the airplane. We had one of those little square carbon monoxide detectors that everybody has in their plane and it never activated, but the Century did. I was shocked by how quickly carbon monoxide can become an issue. We have SOGs, standard operating guidelines at the fire department. According to our SOGs, also, if anybody was present in the building at that time, we would have to call an ambulance and have them evaluated further uh, due to that high of a level of carbon monoxide. I, I also have experience of carbon monoxide poisoning from uh, my flight paramedic side. And carbon monoxide poisoning can be extremely serious. If both oxygen and carbon monoxide are present, the carbon monoxide is going to stick to your red blood cells uh, 256 times more readily than oxygen will. Carbon monoxide is so sticky to the blood that the blood wants it more than it wants the oxygen. I'm pretty sure something bad probably would have happened if we hadn't had the century.